Hello and welcome to SL Productions and my review to the 2017 Christmas special of Doctor Who Twice Upon a Time. The last story to feature Peter Capaldi as the 12th Doctor and to be written under the showrunner Stephen Moffat. Yes, it has almost been a year since Stephen Moffat handed over his pen to Chris Chibnall. Yes, over a year. Well, not quite over a year, but if you're watching this in about a year, it has been over a year. But at the moment, it is still under a year. So, yes. What are my overall thoughts on this story? I thought it was disappointing. Not a lot happened in this story. There wasn't a lot of action. There wasn't a threat in this story. And yes, it was a bit of a mockery of the first Doctor as well. When I first watched this story, I hated it. But when I rewatched it recently, I disliked it. So yes, it went from me hating it to me disliking it. Other Doctor Who stories, I really liked when I first watched them in the Forest of the Night. But after one rewatch, I hated that story. Other stories have gone in reverse. I've hated them the first time I've watched it. Caves of Anjazani, I actually didn't like that story when I first watched it. But now I love that story. So yes, they went from here to here. So yes, getting on to my review. What did I like about this episode? So the first thing I liked was Mark Gatiss's portrayal as the captain. I thought that was a great portrayal from Mark Gatiss. Really did like his portrayal as the captain. And yes, I really did like the callback to him being the great uncle of the brigadier yes Stephen Moffat for some reason thinks it's his granddad no it is his great uncle it was actually referenced in a Doctor Who book which I haven't read but some people actually read through Doctor Who books trying to find a link so yes well done for doing that and yes what else do I like about this episode I did like Peter Capaldi's regeneration I like the face morph they didn't do that when the 11th Doctor regenerated into 12th Doctor the 11th Doctor did his speech and then in a split second he was Peter Capaldi, so yes, didn't like that about the 11th Doctor's regeneration, but really did like the 12th Doctor's regeneration as well. So yes, that's the positives of this episode. What are the negatives of the episode? So the first thing is something you may not have noticed, but it is when William Hartnell's Doctor regenerates into Patrick Troughton. So yes, basically, William Hartnell goes into his TARDIS and then starts regenerating. But they use the original footage. There's the wide screen and then it contracts to be the square screen, the original footage. I don't know why they didn't just make the original footage wider or just showed David Bradley regenerating into another actor playing Patrick Troughton. They should have done that as it looked really wrong when the screen got smaller. I didn't like that about this story. Also didn't like David Bradley's betrayal as the first Doctor for it was a mockery of William Hartnell. William Hartnell was not sexist, maybe a bit, but not really sexist how Stephen Moffat wrote William Hartnell's first Doctor in this story. Also, I didn't like the CGI in this story, especially on that planet where the Doctor goes and meets Rusty the Dalek. You know, that Dalek who appeared in Into the Dalek, a much loved story which no one really hates, but no one really likes. It's just a forgettable story, I think. I've not heard anyone really praise this episode, and I've not heard anyone really hate this episode. It's just a forgettable episode with a Dalek, and that's basically it. Dalek stories mean nothing anymore. So, yes. Also, I didn't like the music in the story. I did like the callbacks to Murray Gold's past musical scores but it was basically the same music throughout i thought murray gold could have experimented more with the music and just done something new in this story out of the old and in with the new so yes what do i rate this episode out of 10 i personally rate it a 3 out of 10 i used to rate it a 1 out of 10 but now i rate it a 3 out of 10 as when i rewatched it i just liked this story a bit more i appreciated some of the elements a bit more i did notice there were a lot more callbacks to past Doctor Who stories which I liked so yeah I just boosted it a bit so yes that is the end of my review please let me know what you think of this story in the comments below and until the next time goodbye